Six people, who had never met before, came together to have some topical discussions around what makes them tick. Having these open conversations shines a light on generational misconceptions and understanding modern consumer behaviors. They talk about their habits, preferences, and honest, unfiltered feelings. This is Know Your Customer. I'm Josie. Nice to meet you. Nice guys. to meet you. So, um, Josie, what does sustainability mean to you? So, sustainability means to me to make something, make a change, make a difference. Um, even if the difference is small, the change is small, but um, at least we can do something to make it a little bit better. That's what it means to me. Yeah. Interesting. What does it mean to you? Well, I guess kind of pretty much the same as you. I, I always think slightly differently with sustainability being just about thinking a bit further forward. Yeah. So, as opposed to kind of just doing what you can do now, yes. thinking about how that's going to be sustainable in the future. Mm -hmm. So a longer term view, I guess, yeah. on what you're doing and being more responsible about yeah. the way that you're doing it. Is it important to you that a business that you're going to buy from has got a really clear kind of sustainability policy or what they stand for and, and goals that, that they can you know, communicate to you? I think it's good, good to see if a big company um, does something for sustainability is definitely a plus but again not for me a reason or only reason why I would buy uh, from them rather than from someone else and how does it go with I you? think that's interesting you use the word de definitely a plus that's kind of where I would put it it's yeah. like I guess it depends what the business is and what the product is certain products I might be more mindful of you know, this is plastic or uh, whatever it might be. But in most instances, I'm not gonna just purely go out and research the most yeah. sustainable company in this area and then buy from them Neither. regardless. Yeah. It's nice when I'm doing my research, I'm probably researching what the best product is, mm -hmm. not thinking about sustainability. If I then see clearly that they've got good sustainability and they're looking after the environment, I'll be swayed yeah. potentially to go, okay, would you be tempted to buy something that was more expensive because the company behind it had a better sustainability? Where I am in life right now, in my state and also my financial income, um, I think at the moment I will more be lean to the more cheaper variant, right? Um, but I would definitely have like a second thought. So then if a company like uh, communicates the sustainability efforts, does it build up trust in you? Um, it, it can do. Mm -hmm. I, again, I think it comes back to, we keep saying depends, doesn't it? It depends on how they do it and such like. So I've certainly had examples where they're communicating that has helped, either with a trust or just kind of liking them as a business more. I think there's as much about kind of that likability and feeling good about yourself as well. Yeah. But I can definitely think of examples where it's had the exact opposite effect because they've been trying way too hard. Mm -hmm or they've been shouting too loud about just this kind of one-off big thing that was so blatantly designed to be a, you know, a publicity stunt. Yeah. That for me, that's just a massive switch off. Yeah. Um, I agree to that part, what you said about um, them shouting really. And I mean, it makes it less authentic, I believe. Yeah. And it also comes across of them just trying to push their PR at the end of the day and not really trying to do something. Yeah. So it makes it just, again, less authentic. You know, when you're watching whatever on the TV and the next advert comes on and the advert is, we did this and we do that and we do the other. Mm -hmm. Because it's an advert, I know it's an advert. Yeah. You've paid for this space to tell me something about yourself. Did you do it or not? I don't know. Um, for me, I think I do agree. Like if, the, if there's like big ads on the TV, it's really, switch off. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a switch off. And like, to be honest, let's be honest, it's mainly anyways to push their corporate uh, social responsibility yeah. anyways. Yeah, tick it? a box. Tick a box, yeah. that's what we do, we're so cool, hi. It's not, I don't know, it doesn't really serve the purpose, I believe. And obviously there's a, there's a whole kind of wider um, 
subject area here around the kind of culture of that business and not just what they do for the planet but do they look after people and you know diversity and the gender pay gap and you know all of these kind of other things how how much does that play into this whole picture alongside sustainability of things that would influence you to want to buy a product from a certain company or or work with a certain brand um, for me personally I think it's a very good factor to know yeah it's good to know okay what brands actually are diverse inclusive you know do loads for their people for their own people they work with and to communicate that that is important um, does it influence me pay uh, me buying something from them not really at this point if i'm being very very honest not really okay um if i were to have a better pay grade yeah <laughs> so it might influence you wanting um, to um, work there yeah, not um, necessarily whether you buy something <laughs> from them or not so i think in the future yeah there's something that i would definitely look at before buying, especially if the same product or similar product yeah. is being offered from different companies. This is definitely what I wouldn't look out for, yeah. you know, and um, especially when it comes also to fair trade, you know, where they get their the materials from yeah. and what else. There's definitely where I would buy. Yeah. I would pay even more if I have to. That I mean, you know, I could afford it by then. Yeah. So this, yeah, this is just me. Interesting. I, mean. I, I actually, again, I honestly think I'm, I, be more influenced by the people side of it mm. than the planet, <laughs> which is probably bad. But you know, I would definitely yeah. be much. Yeah. I feel much more drawn to a business if I know that their culture is good, if they look after their people, that they're you know, there's they're truly diverse and they actually live it and breathe it. Mm. Uh, you know, that people are happy there, etc. That. I, that is a turn on for me in terms of wanting to, to buy a product from them and I would definitely pay more. Um, so what's your preference in terms of how a company communicates with you about their sustainability? Um, okay, so I would say during the day, I, when I find this, yeah, during the day in my free time, I'm more likely to be on social media, so that's a channel I use. So I think if it's communicated via social media, it would not be too bad. Um, I would not like to have an email about this, to be honest, because I think it's a little bit of waste of time to just tell me what you guys are doing. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. it's just, I, can't, I can't have an email. <laughs> yeah. But if it's via social media, as I'm already on it and I'm scrolling or, you know, searching specific stuff or looking at something and then you just maybe a post pops up um, you know stating stuff like that I think that that would be a good channel for me and just it's just a good to know basically mm -hmm. but I'm I'm much less likely to, whatever the um, the topic is to respond to anything that's kind of been pushed to me at a time when I'm not specifically bought in or interested mm -hmm. so you know I get loads and loads of emails at work that don't get answered you know if i unless yeah. i know who it's from or what it's about anyway so email is probably not getting through yeah. uh, during the daytime i'm not really kind of scrolling on social mm. but in the evening maybe mm -hmm. i might mm -hmm. or over the weekend there might be a little bit of that but the best time to educate me on that stuff is when i'm already in the mood for knowing about them mm. and their product yeah. and i want it to be really kind of upfront and center and, mm -hmm. and accessible mm -hmm. um, what their kind of credentials are and what yeah. they're doing because of the fact that it influences me right. even if it's not yes. as we said like the yes. major thing that I went searching mm -hmm. for if it's right there and I can see it then it definitely influences the decision mm. but mm. at that point when I'm I'm in research mode or I've gone to them mm. and I'm on their site yeah. I'm definitely going to respond to that more mm. than it just be a push message from a company and I'm just thinking that's nice Right. I don't care, I'm not about to buy anything from yes, you. Yes, so it's, yes. for me, it's much more about specific timing okay. when I'm in the zone mm -hmm. looking at them as a company or their product. Yeah.